Oh, I forgot to say, I gotta, I gotta talk about this. Sorry, sorry. You guys hold off on your questions. Hold off on your questions. One last Actually, rant. Actually, keep throwing the questions. We'll scroll sure. through. Sure, keep going. Yeah, Silas, figure out the good ones, and then you can, you can tell us, because I gotta go on a rant. Yuli, mm -hmm. I believe the PDGA, and hey, if you, if you work for the PDGA, I'm sorry, you're not going to like what I'm about to say, but it's nothing new here. I think the PDGA views the world championship as a vacation. I think they think, hey, I'm going, I'm getting everything paid for. I get to watch disc golf and it's going to be a great time. This is why, Yuli. First off, Nate Heinold, I think, hates me now. Just doesn't respond to my text messages when I tell him stuff. Um, it is what it is. I mean, he's the TD of the tournament. So I assume like that was the best person to, to text when there is a three-hole gap in front of the group that's in front of you. Um, never got back to me. I'm going to stay on the front lines of pace of play until I die. Why? I'm a man of the people. And what do people hate the most? Slow play. We don't like it. It's not good for coverage. It's not good for spectators in, uh, at, at the course. I don't want to see people in the crowd tell me that, wow, thank God. Like we, we haven't seen anyone for 30 minutes. I, I, people don't like pace of play. Slow place to play, okay? And I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. I gotta do it because I don't think anyone on the PDGA actually knows how to check pace of play. I don't think they know how to do it. So here's your quick tutorial. Anyone that works for the PDGA and is going to an event that is not uh, going there for vacation, please pay attention because I'm gonna show you. All right, so here we are. Where are we at, Silas? Where are we at? This is the camera, here we go. All right, this is the leaderboard, okay? The leaderboard is going to, I'm, I'm, on, your, I'm on your leaderboard too. This is PDGA Live, this is PGA Live. I'm on your leaderboard. This is the app that you guys created because we don't use UDisc anymore, okay? Now, uh, this is automatically in order from lowest, okay, lowest under par to highest under par. Now, what you have to do, all you have to do, okay, is you see where it says that through button. So it says total round and then through. When a tournament's going on, all you have to do is click that one time. And now you see there's a little arrow. So what that has done, it has now changed to where before it's sorted by who was under par and who's leading the tournament, now it's sorting by what hole they're on. So now you're going to see everyone that's playing hole 18. They're all going to be there. 18, 18, 18, 18. Then whoever's on hole 17, it's going to say 17, 17, 17, 17. So all you have to do is you just scroll. And when you see that there's a group on 15, 15, 15, 15, and then you scroll and the next group is 12, 12, 12, 12. That's bad. No good. That means no one's on hole 13. No one's on hole 14. No one's on hole 15. That's bad. And it literally takes just a little scroll. That's all it takes. They did add favorites. Yep. Shout out to that. It only took them a couple months. We do have favorites. So if I'm an, a marshal and I'm in a golf cart, <laughs> and I am in charge, right, of pace of play. What should I be doing? I should be just on my phone, scrolling, looking, and being like, oh, wow, there's a three-hole gap here. Let me drive over there and tell them that they need to hurry up. We were on hole 15. This was after, I mean, I was playing with Jakob. I was playing with other people that were asking me, like, hey, did you text Nate? What, what did they say? We were on hole 15, Yuli. Nate never responded. This was uh, something that was an issue from literally hole three. We caught up to the group in front of us on hole three. We had to wait for them on the tee pad of hole three. And then after that, we had to wait every single shot. 
We texted, no response. We get to hole 15. There is a marshal. I'm, I'm assuming he's a marshal. He's wearing a black shirt. Says PDGA, whatever. I'm assuming that's a marshal. He's in a golf cart. Why heck, why heck is he in a golf cart? We tell him, hey, did you say anything to the group in front of us? He said, no. What, is there something going on? And we're like, yes. There's no one in front of them. There, there's no one on hole 17. There's no one on hole 18. It's just them. And this is causing a backup for everyone behind us, right? It's not just us. It's causing a backup for everyone behind us. He goes, oh, no, no, no I didn't see that. And, and then we said, and then I think we said something along the lines of like, are you going to say anything to them? Whatever, whatever. And he's like, oh, you're good. we keep walking. Guess where he drives? In the opposite direction, Yuli. He's on, vac- he's, he's on vacation. He's gone. So then we get to the end of our round and I start talking, the PDGA guys out there, he walks out and I immediately say, do you guys not care about pace of play? Do you have no one that is paying attention to pace of play? And he was very quick and not wanting to have a public conversation about it. So we had to go into the clubhouse and he was very adamant about like, what, what was the name of the guy that you talked to? I don't know. Uh, you think I know all the PDJ people? I have no idea. I have no idea. Why does that matter? And he apparently said that he was the one. Get this, Yuli. He said that he had been monitoring pace of play all day. Guess, guess what I saw him doing? We, we finished early, by the way. I had an early tea time. There was a ton of people on the course. Yeah. Guess what I saw that person that was monitoring pace of play doing three minutes after I saw him? What? Just chatting it up with some people outside. Just, just chit-chatting. Well, maybe he had just checked his phone and everything was good. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, Ezra also made a post about it. I saw that. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just not good, man. It's just, it's literally not good. Why do we have people that are marshals that are in golf carts on a golf course that can literally, if you've ever played golf before and you're in a golf cart, you can get to every hole in under five minutes. You really can. You can zip around and get to pretty much every hole in under five minutes. And so if you see a gap starting to happen, there should never be a two hole gap ever. There should Agreed. never be a two hole gap. Yeah. As soon as you see a one hole gap, you should be beelining it to that group and telling them you need to catch up to the group in front of you. You need to do it. So I don't know that, I, that that's all I have to say is, Hey, if any of you guys pay the, if you real quick, throw a hand, throw a hands in the chat. If you are a PDJ member, <laughs> real, real quick. Last thing I'll say, throw, throw hands up in the chat. If you are a PDGA member, I am. So my hands up, my hands up. Ron, 6997, Frank, Ian. Okay. A couple people. Eddie says, not me. Um, on behalf of all the PDGA people, I just want to say thank you for spending your money so that they can go to Lynchburg and have a great vacation. And I'll leave it at that. 